What's up guys, this is Dennis from Botster and in this quick video I'm going to show you a powerful tool that will help you extract ads from Google for a particular keyword or a set of keywords. So let me quickly show you what I'm talking about. So if we go on Google and type in project management app and hit enter, Google's going to redirect us to the search result page, which will in some cases contain ads. So in this case, we have two ads, this one and this one, and the script or bot that I will be talking about in this video will allow you to extract these results into an Excel table. And that way you will be able to analyze what types of ads Google returns and which competitors are running ads for a certain keyword. You'll be able to analyze their copy, their headings, and make your own ads much better. Now, before I continue, please make sure to support our channel by liking this video. And of course, if you would like to see more data extraction and automation tutorials, make sure to subscribe to our channel right now. So there are a few caveats with this bot that I'm going to talk about later in this video. Uh, so make sure to watch the video until the very end. But let's start from the beginning. Now to use the bot, you will of course need to sign up on Botster and then you will need to find the bot. The bot is called Google Ads Extractor. You can use this search bar in the header and search for the bot or you can navigate to the tools for Google search category and find the bot there. Do not forget to read the documentation of the bot carefully because all of the caveats, all of the um, questions are answered in this text. I'm going to skip on all of that, click the start bot button and show it to you in action. So let's first name the job that the bot will create for you. I'm going to call it ads extraction demo. Going to skip the project folder selection and now you need to provide a list of keywords that you would like to scrape adverts for. Now here's the important part. Google is very, very picky about who it shows its ads to. Ads are being shown based on user location, based on user agent, based on user IP address, and many, many, many other factors. And if you search for a query several times from a computer, you will notice that Google might show different ad results every time you hit the search button. Sometimes you're not going to get any ads at all. Now to increase the probability of Google returning actual output, um, ad output for your keywords, what I suggest is providing as many keywords as you can. And that way you will increase the probability of obtaining enough results to work with. Now what I mean by that is if you're interested in scraping ads for a keyword, for example, lawyer services, you will need to provide more than this particular single keyword, which is why in this example, I collected a set of keywords uh, for this topic and I'm going to copy them and paste them in here. This way the bot will definitely return information, but in case uh, a keyword returns nothing, you get refunded for that particular keyword, so you don't really lose anything. Plus keep in mind that the number of ads returned per single keyword is very limited uh, per page. For example, in some cases, Google can return one result or two results. That's definitely not enough for a good research. So again, my recommendation here is to provide more keywords to get um, more relevant results. More keywords, more results. Okay, let's move on and scroll down. Now you will need to select your user agent's location. Basically the bot will tell Google, okay, we're uh, in Manhattan or we're in Chicago or we're in a certain district. This also helps when you're trying to extract uh, ads uh, that are tracking a certain location. For example, lawyer services in Manhattan or something like that. You definitely would want to experiment with this tool uh, to better understand the logic behind it. Because let's be honest, when it comes to displaying search results, Google is a black box and you don't really know uh, what's gonna come out of it until you experiment with it enough. So I'm going to tell Google that I'm in Florida. Um, that should be enough, but if you would like more precision, you can drag and drop the pin and place it in a different location. 
Let's scroll down. I'm going to keep the language English, but of course, if you're trying to scrape ads in different languages, you will need your user agent to tell Google that it's using, I don't know, for example, Swedish language. And that way, the probability of Google returning ads in the Swedish language is much higher. Now I'm going to tell Google that I'm on a mobile device and my OS is iOS. We found it that for some keywords, Google returns more ads if you're on an iOS device. So I normally pick that option. You can set this bot to run periodically. For example, the bot will run every Monday and will send you the ads it finds for a certain set of keywords. I'm just going to uncheck that and run this script once. And of course you can set up notifications. For example, you can select whether you want uh, the results to be emailed to you. Once the bot completes the job, you can connect this bot to Slack or Telegram, send a JSON post request to a server of yours, or connect this bot to Zapier and create a complex automation sequence. Not going to select any of that, just going to hit the green start this bot button and wait for the bot to create the job and then wait for my results. Okay, as you can see, the job had been created and is now active. All we need to do now is wait for the bot to complete the job and click the like button to support this channel. Okay, it took the bot around one minute to complete the job. And in this particular case, you can see that we have the refunded label um, appearing right here, which means one or more keywords returned zero data. So let's click the view data button and have a look at what kind of data the bot returned. And as you can see, it's pretty good. Actually, uh, the cheapest lawyer near me returned nothing. And uh, that's practically the only keyword that returned zero information. The rest are fine. And you can see that we have the title of the ad, the description of the ad, and of course, the link to where the ad redirects you to. You can now download this table as a CSV Excel or a JSON file. You can open it in your Google Sheets by clicking here. And if you need to share this very page with your colleagues, you can make it public by clicking on this button here, copying the URL and sending it to whoever you need to send it to. Well, this is it. You've reached the end of the video. Make sure to hit the like button if you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, the comment section is down below. And of course, subscribe to catch our next video. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.